Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I just revert to Islam a month back due to some sim court answers. I need to visit my family. They are Christian. Um, I want to know. I want to know if I can lie to them. Me being Muslim, and what's your advice on visiting my family, considering the hardship I might face? Because I just spoke to my mother, and she feels that I'm going. I'm co coming closer to Islam, and she wants me to bring to pastor because she say I'm losing my faith to our religion. I will have to celebrate Christmas, and I don't know how I will pray back home, as I would have to do it in secret. I fear that I will need be strong enough, and I'm scared that I. I will turn my back towards Islam. I start off my sister by making a dua for you. May Allah make it easy for you. May Allah bless you and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you to do that which is correct. Obviously, it's a question that is very contemporary. And to be honest, uh, your family is important. At the same time, the Quran speaks about you being kind to them. And the Quran instructs you to be kind to them, dutiful unto them, except when they instruct you to do something against the, the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you visit your family. If they want you to consume alcohol, you don't do that. If they want you to visit the pastor, you don't do that. If they want you to, for example, do something in transgression with Allah, you sit them down and you explain to them. To, to, to tell them that you're a Muslim is not a condition. So if you haven't told them you're a Muslim, it's not a condition that you have to depending on your situation if the situation requires that you don't tell them then you may not tell them I always believe it is ideal to let them know let you know let it uh, come out into the open and then deal with it I believe that that's the best way you know even when it comes sorry on a totally different topic altogether when it comes to our social matters in the home and some you need to sometimes relate that hey, this has happened and then deal with it. It's better than keeping it, keeping it for years on end and then struggling to deal with it. They might get angry and upset. The anger has a period of time. It will last a while. Some families, in some cases, it lasts longer and some it lasts a little bit less. So if perhaps you release it to them and they say, look, we told you and we knew and we this and they're crying and I'm going to do this. They won't do that. You know, your mom says, I'm going to kill myself. I've had cases where mom says, I'm not going to eat until uh, you come back. And the person says, OK, fine. Well, four or five days later, mom is busy having burgers at McDonald's. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us, really. May Allah make it easy for your parents as well to understand that Islam is not a barbaric religion. Today, because of the forces that are uh, across the globe uh, attempting to distort the image of Islam, that's the reason why people are worried. The minute you, they find you inclining towards Islam, they think that you're coming home with some barbaric faith, not realizing that if you were to practice Islam in the home, you'd be a better child than a child who does not practice the deen. So the true Islam is actually an Islam with peace. Maybe you can seize the opportunity to speak to your parents like uh, like I said moments ago without disclosing to them that you're a Muslim you can seize the opportunity to talk to them and then release it to them at some point but that release will have to come they might be upset with you it happened at the time of the Sahaba anhum. if you feel that they might harm you then you don't need to say anything but if you feel that they'll just get upset they'll get angry they'll, you know that happens subhanallah that happens in a lot of cases that might result in them studying Islam and coming towards it they'll ask you a lot of questions but uh, at the end of the day the decisions happen have to be made uh, and I thank you for having you know trusted my opinion I hope that it would have helped inshallah uh, in, in in a small way at least my sister we pray for you really and I hope that you have a good journey back home and I hope that perhaps whatever you've chosen to do you build the courage to actually let them know and if you want to let them know the day you're leaving, no problem. And if you want to let them know the day you've arrived, no problem. And if you want to let them know before you've arrived, no problem. And if you want to hold back for a little while due to circumstances you know best, that's also no problem. But at the same time, inshallah, if they instruct you to do something against the command of Allah, stay away from that. May Allah make it easy for us. Look at Ibrahim alayhi salam. When they asked him to go to the festival, he actually said, I'm sick. Meaning, I'm, I'm sick of what you guys are doing. And he stayed home. So it's not very difficult for us to do that. Uh, although Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would open the door for us if we keep on asking him, may Allah open doors for all of us. Ameen. Jazakallah khair, sister. Thank you.